Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Jonathan Larson. He's with the University of Kentucky's Extension Entomologist there. Good morning, Jonathan. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, 2020 has been a crazy year. <laughs> and, and I know you've gotten a lot of calls about different insects, but probably one that we're starting to get some calls about are cicadas. Yeah, so everybody is always kind of curious about cicadas. They're one of those insects of summer. They're one of my favorite insects, actually. They're pretty high up on the list. I have a lapel pin of a cicada that I wear every now and then when I feel fancy, but they're definitely associated with this time of year. And you know, they're kind of a mystery. You think so? Okay, that's, I like to hear that. They do have kind of a mysterious life cycle. They spend a lot of time below ground. Cicada nymphs are soil born. They live around tree roots and they're down there in the, in the soil. They're attached to the tree's roots and they're sucking sap out of it. It's not a very nutritious diet. Imagine if you only drink Mountain Dew to try and grow up. Uh, that's kind of what they're doing. So it takes them some time to develop. They're usually down there for at least two years. Uh, even the annual cicada that comes out every August or so is uh, down there for a couple of years. But then we also have those 13 and 17 year periodical cicadas that spend a long time below ground. So you mentioned the annual cicada, and, and when people call, they're like, you know, I've seen cicadas every year. Um, what, so what's the big deal about this year? So annual cicadas, they do come out every year. Some people call them dog day cicadas. There's several different species that are in there, but they do come out every season, even if they're kind of below ground for a couple of years. But those magic cicadas, the periodical cicadas, they are special because they're below ground for that 13 or 17 year period. When they come out, they come out in the millions. There are tons and tons of these cicadas. And it's just this really spectacular emergence. It's very loud. It's very crunchy, especially when you're walking around in those areas. And it is one of the most magnificent things that you can witness in American nature. It's, it's a, a purely American phenomenon. Absolutely. And, but some people are a little alarmed by it, you know. <laughs> so we, we've had calls about what will these cicadas do, and they're not harmful to, to humans. Correct. They aren't going to do anything to people or pets. Your dog may eat some of them, but generally speaking, it's fine. Uh, hopefully they don't gorge themselves too much, but they're good food for squirrels and turkeys and all that kind of stuff. They do cause some pest issues when we have that big emergence, just because the females are going to start laying their eggs. To do that, they cut into the branches of trees with their sword-like ovipositor. And when they make that slice, it can sometimes cause flagging in the tree, but they like oaks, so those big oak trees can handle that. It's when they get on the smaller fruit trees or into nursery production settings uh, that we start to see an issue. Absolutely. Now, now, will we see those here in Kentucky or will they mainly be east of us? Right now, they're east of us. There's emergences usually every year or so uh, on, in a different location around the country. There are some that are kind of trickling out right now in Kentucky. But generally speaking, this a big emergence that's happening in 2020. That's more of a West Virginia, Virginia kind of phenomenon. But next year, in 2021, if we get there, if we have a 2021, we're going to see the big emergence happen here in Kentucky. Okay. And so you mentioned like nursery growers, fruit tree growers. Is there anything they can do preventative so they wouldn't have damage to their nursery stock? The best thing that we can recommend for that is to get some netting. A bird netting that you use to help protect a plant can also help to keep a lot of these cicadas off of it. You want to try and get a finer mesh because they're a little smaller, but once you put that net over the plant, you're usually going to have it protected uh, for that, that season that the cicadas are emerging. Yeah, and so will it be about the same time of year, like this time of year when they would probably emerge? The periodical cicadas are more of an early summer phenomenon, so they happen before the latter half of the, the growing season. Those annual cicadas tend to be more of a July-August phenomenon, but the magic cicadas, the periodical ones, they come out in June, July, yeah. All right, well, Jonathan, certainly appreciate the information and the answers to maybe some people's concerns and questions about the cicadas and their emergence. But if you have any questions, you can make sure to contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.